there. You finally arrived. I would have been here sooner had there not been a pest problem. Yeah, sorry about that. My beauties weren't supposed to get out of their cages. Flock traps are horribly rambunctious when not kept in an enclosed dark space. Oh, is that the male creature? How fascinating. Their chest is flat and smooth, and this color, <laughs> strange as well. The color is normal for their race, at least some of them. They have pale ones and dark ones. I am unsure of what purpose it serves. It probably has something to do with their son, but I'll have to conduct research to find that out. These on the sides of his head must be his ears. Strange location. Perhaps this is why they do not possess horns. These floppy things would get crushed. But his cheeks... There's nothing there. Definitely a weird race. As far as other planets go, these humans are the closest to our species. Though they are far uglier. Oh, don't listen to her. I find your looks fascinating. I'm Joel. I'll be the main researcher studying you. I have a containment space that is supposed to replicate your houses so that you will feel right at home. I will let you take over from here. I must sanitize my ship. All right. Bye. She's such a thorn in the lava. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're confused on the language barrier. No, we didn't learn your language so we could speak it around you. That'd be such a waste of time and resources. Poe implanted a device into your skull at the base of your neck that automatically translates our words into something you can understand. It also shocks your vocal cords so that you can speak in words we will understand. It doesn't quite do everything justice, like names or phrases, I'm sure, but you'll get the idea eventually. I seem nicer than Ko? Well, thanks. She's an exploration pilot, though, so it's natural that she isn't the friendly sort. She spends most of her time alone in her ship. Now come along. We need to get you settled in so we can get started. We'll begin by taking a few samples from you. Blood, skin cells, hair. Don't be afraid. It will not hurt you. Oh, wait. Maybe it will. You are bound to have different nerves. Well, this will also help determine your nerves. If it hurts, it should only be a little, though. Oh, and I wouldn't try to run away if I were you. Your planet is full of men, so it's not like we need you in particular. No, that doesn't mean we can just send you back and pick someone else. What I meant by that is you will be disintegrated if you cause trouble. Like my poor fox wraps. They were so lovely, but now they're just a pile of ash. <sighs> but at least I have you to work on now. Is there something you would like me to address you as? It didn't quite come out right. Don't understand. How about I just call you test subject? That's what you are, basically. Here we are. Please go in and take a seat. I'll go ahead and take the samples. Yes, 
that's what I have in this container. Now, if you move around, it will result in injury, so I suggest you hold still. There's the blood. And the skin sample. And hair! I would like to take the tip off of one of your digits, if you'd let me. No. But why? Oh, lots of nerves. Well, I'm definitely going to have to take it then. Oh, so you scream when in pain and when you are scared? That's a useful piece of information. Hmm. Now that I have those, I'll send them off to the lab. Oh, right. Let me stop the bleeding on your finger. There. Now I ask that you go wash yourself before we move on to any further steps. I wish to observe your eating pattern, so while you are cleaning, I will prepare you food as similar to what we have observed from your planet prior. We do not have these creatures called cows, pigs, and chickens. We organically create flesh products. Now go on. The cleaning station is right behind that door. Yes, there is a camera in there. There are cameras everywhere in this containment unit. Your face has changed color. Very fascinating. Why is it red now? Embarrassment? Strange. You don't want anyone to see you unclothed? But us researchers will be looking at your naked form quite a lot. It's required for research. We will have to compare the male form to the female one. You don't have a choice here, unless you want to be deleted. Very good, then. I'll get your meal ready while you're cleaning. I won't push you too hard today. I am sure it will take you time to adjust. I will be waiting. My test subject. <laughs>